Hi, beautiful people of the Most High God. So God wants me to let you know this, the spirits that the spirit of Rahab comes with and why the spirit is more worse and detrimental than the spirit of Jezebel and the spirit of Delilah. Because the spirit of Rahab comes with the spirit of chaos, as in the other videos, if you watch. The spirit of division. So the spirit of Rahab shows division and discord and sows conflicts in your family, your friendships, your career, your reputation. Um, and we're going to go into the part about the impersonation, the double ganger, the illusions, and the manipulation, right? So she shows discord. It, she comes with the spirit of discord, the spirit of conflict. Like this spirit tries to destroy you by all means necessary for you not to enter into the kingdom of God, for you not to have a marriage, for you not to be like, but at the same time impersonating your good qualities that they see in you from God. Like, you know, a friend that backstabs you, but smiles in your face, like you probably be sitting at the dinner table and they slip something in your drink to poison you and they'll be smiling in your face to see if it worked to kill you. Like, this memory says her feet take down, um, take steps on hell and death. Like, it comes with a spirit of envy as well. So, because the spirit of Rahab is envious. So, the spirit of confusion, it causes confusion in the family, in the marriage. Like, by all, sowing the discord, the division, conflicts, like, problems, arguments. It comes with the spirit of illusion. So if you don't really know about the spirit of illusion, illusion um, it's really dangerous. We're dealing with the spirit of illusion and how people create an image that is a lie. But they pull people into the illusion by creating, you know, a false pretense. So this spirit of Rahab, she impersonates people, a double ganger spirit. Like she copies the good qualities of the saints. So you ever have like a copycat? But then they're slandering you and defaming your character, but copying every single thing you do. This is the spirit of Rahab. Very dangerous. Working in men and working in women. So it comes with like a, a false pretense of who somebody is. They take the good qualities from somebody and mimic them. And then like turn their friends against them. Turn their family against them. Turn people against them you know blackball them so they can pretend to be this person you ever had someone do that to you like a lot of betrayal but in your face they're smiling in your face in your face they're friendly but behind your back they're tearing you down this is the spirit of rahab like defaming your character slandering you so is illusion so is the spirit of fear right the spirit of confusion comes with the spirit of fear um the spirit of seduction so even by like seducing your lover sending in you know other spouses like just doing the most the spirit of fornication the spirit of sexual immorality the spirit of defilement so she seeks to defile the people of god because you know how god says be ye holy for i am holy so with seduction fornication sexual immorality defilement and pollution she seeks to destroy the holiness that's in people that is in god's people and like we're gonna go back to like her double ganger because then it goes back to the book of joshua when he said when she was saved when when she saved the spies and that she went to live in the land of israel amongst the prophets and seers right so she comes with the spirit of envy so we know envy Wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? This is somebody who's envious of you, wants to be around you, but is secretly trying to destroy everything about you. Spirits of witchcraft and manipulation. So you got to know the spirit of manipulation is a technique used by some abusive churches and cults to control individuals and to acquire gain. Remember, she's prideful. Remember the four types of manipulation. You feel fair obligation and guilt you're questioning yourself there are strings attached you notice the foot in the door and door in the face techniques what do you do if you think you're being manipulated this is what the spirit of um rahab comes with she's always trying to keep you in your head with fear 
mm-hmm. and which and witchcraft manipulations, emotional manipulations, hauntiness. The spirit is haunty. So you you see these people who like they're proud and they're haunty, but they're doing all these things. They're fornicating. They're living polygamously, sexual immorality. They're so in conflict. They're always in arguments. They're always fighting with somebody. This is the, the that's helping you identify the spirit of Rahab. So it comes with the spirit of lies. So the lying spirit, slander and defamation of character, because she seeks to shut up the prophets and seers and the truth speakers, the light workers, people who speak the truth. The spirit of double ganger and the spirit of impersonation. So if you don't know what a double ganger is, an apparition or double of a living, double of a living person. So copycatting, right? Definition: double sense and alter ego. A person that has the same of another. She tries to be like someone else. She tries to copy someone else. A double ganger is a mysterious, exact double of a living person. So they try to copy you, but yet are tearing you down. The same things that that that, that are good about you that people love, they talk bad about it, and then they try to impersonate you, right? An impersonating spirit is a spirit that uses the identity of the Holy Spirit or an, an angel of light to manipulate and to deceive believers. Remember, we go back to the spirit of manipulation she does witchcraft manipulations this is how dangerous the spirit is so back to impersonation the spirit of impersonation is at work impersonating tongues impersonating healing impersonating prophecy she attacks the voices of the the saints impersonating church order impersonating because remember um in the book of Joshua, after she helped Joshua from the spies, she went to live in the land of Israel amongst the Israelites, and she was around kings and queens, princesses, princess, princes, and she was envious of them, and she tried to impersonate them because she wanted to be them. The double spirit of double ganger, spirit of impersonation so spirit of persecution so she persecutes the real people of god the royal priesthood the spirit of lust she comes with the spirit of lust remember she is a whorelet so she was attacking the prophets and seers by sleeping with them she was doing that to the israelites she was doing that to people of nobility respectable people honorable people and bringing shame onto them the spirit of lust of the flesh the spirit of adultery she was sleeping with people's husbands and wives in ancient times both she was committing adultery sowing discord and division and conflict in marriages and amongst the children and families spirit of misery she comes with the spirit of misery spirit of rejections so you see how she seeks to isolate someone through through what slander defamation of character the lying spirits that those people who are this is worse than jealousy envy like this is a really wicked spirit that wants to impersonate you but wants everyone to hate you spirit of affliction she afflicts remember her name means afflictor her name means afflictor spirit of reproach reproaching remember she's prideful so she reproaches the meek she reproaches the humble the spirit of shame the spirit of whoredom the spirit of pride the spirit of arrogancy, the spirit of hatred, the spirits of resentment, the spirit of selfishness. So this is Rahab. Rahab, bluster, is used in the Hebrew Bible. Indicate pride or arrogancy. And then we'll go down here. The name of Rahab meaning arrogant, raging, turbulent, afflictor. So God wants you to know these are all the spirits that this Rahab, the spirit, comes with. And her... This spirit seeks to destroy you by all means. So when you have these type of friends that cause division, discord, they lie on you, they'll sleep with your spells, they you know, they destroy marriages, they introduce a lot of evil into your life, but and they secretly want to be you and they copycat you, 
this is the first of double gangering impersonation because she was double gangering and an impersonation impersonating the prophets the seers and uh, the prophets the seers the princes the royal people of god and she was even doing that to daughter zion god wants you to know so that's why they're gonna have that big clash so the spirit of rahab the harlot this is how it operates um and these are the spirits that it comes with and it seeks to isolate you alienate you and get everyone to hate you um so they can pretend to be you and they'll just destroy families homes marriages friendships and careers blackballing lies defamation and you could take this up with fasting and ask god and um also she does the six things that the lord hates these six things does the lord hate yeah seven are an abomination unto him she does all seven a proud look remember she's prideful a lying tongue the spirit of lies and hands that shed innocent blood she sheds the innocent bloods of the saints of god and a heart that divides wicked imaginations feet that be swift in running to mischief remember it says in proverbs her feet are movable that thou may not know them a false witness that speaks lies she sows slander discord defamation of character and he that sows discord among brethren remember she comes with the spirit of discord conflict confusion division she does that in the family friendships careers and anything to destroy somebody and isolate them and have them away from people listening to them and hearing them and um I just wanted to there was something about mind manipulation that I wanted to it also says that like the spirit of illusion comes with double ganger so if you can also know that so this this spirit is very wicked this impersonation so I take authority over any spirit of impersonation that wants to impersonate you and manipulate you and deceive people from listening to you well i hope this helped you so if you're ever dealing with something someone like that um please cast out the spirit of rehab stay blessed beautiful people